Zucken wir das her. Lass es mit einem stillen Gebet an. Everyone. So, today we're going to look at this topic of the Civil Sunday Law. Now we haven't looked at this for some years even. And it was something that we put in place you know, a few, few years back. Und das war etwas, was wir ein paar Jahre zurück ähm, an Platz gesetzt haben. And when we, when we put this on online, we, there's many things that we understand now that we didn't understand then, right? Und als wir das damals äh, auf die Linie gesetzt haben, da sind eben viele Sachen, die wir jetzt verstehen, die wir damals nicht verstanden haben. Okay, and one of the things that we didn't understand was the time of peace, right? Und das eine, eine Sache, die wir nicht verstanden haben, war die Zeit des Friedens. And all these complicated play of events that the Lord is really bringing together, right? Okay, so in light of that, I, I decided it was time to go back and look at it. And as I did so, I was very much convicted about this. Und als ich das getan habe, da war ich sehr überführt davon. Okay, so anyway, let's begin. The history is our teacher, right? Dann fangen wir an. Die Geschichte ist unser Lehrer. It says, if the reader would understand the agencies to be employed in the soon coming contest, he has but to trace the record of the means which Rome employed for the same object in ages past, right? So... There's no new thing at the end of the world, right? That which has been is that which shall be, right? It says, if we would know how papists and Protestants united will deal with those who reject their dogmas, let him see the spirit which Rome manifested toward the Sabbath and its defenders. Royal edicts, general councils and church ordinances sustained by secular power were the steps by which the pagan festival attained its position of honour in the Christian world. The first public measure enforcing Sunday observance was the law enacted by Constantine 321. This edict required townspeople to rest on the venerable day of the sun, right? So, there's no new thing at the end of the world, right? Es gibt nichts Neues am Ende der Welt. History is going to repeat itself. Die Geschichte wird sich wiederholen. Sister White says, if you want to see how the Sunday law comes, go back into history and see the progressive means by which was used to bring it into play, right? Wenn Bert sagt, wenn man wissen will, wie das Sonntagsgesetz kommt, dann soll man zurück in die Geschichte gehen und die progressiven Mittel erkennen, wie, wie es dazu gekommen ist. And it began by a law forcing people to desist from working on Sunday, right? Und es fing mit einem Gesetz an, was Leute gezwungen hat, also nicht am Sonntag zu arbeiten. Okay, it says... Let's read it again. It says, This edict required townspeople to rest on the venerable day of the sun, but permitted countrymen to continue their agricultural pursuits, though virtually a heathen statute. A what? Was was? A heathen statute, right? And the heathen are the civil powers, right? Und die Heiden sind die Staatsmächte. So it was a, it was a civil law. Right? It was enforced by the emperor after his nominal acceptance of Christianity. So this is where it began. They were not forced to desist 
from the normal worship, right? People that wanted to worship on the Sabbath, for instance. Also da fing es an, also sie waren nicht gezwungen, dass sie von ihrem normalen Anbetung aufhören, also zum Beispiel Leute, die den Sabbat gehalten haben. They were not forced to worship on Sunday. Sie wurden nicht gezwungen, am Sonntag anzubeten. They were just forced to desist from work on Sunday, right? Sie wurden nur gezwungen, dass sie am Sonntag nicht arbeiten. So the civil power made a civil law, right? Also die Staatsmacht oder die zivile Macht hat ein ziviles Gesetz erlassen. However, that civil law was based upon their minds being affected or the wine that the woman was drinking them was leading them down these steps so that they would eventually put in the Sunday law, right? Also, um, dieses Gesetz kam eben, weil sie diesen uh, Wein getrunken haben, deswegen war ihr Verstand beeinflusst und das uh, führte sie uh, dann letztendlich dazu, dass sie das Sonntagsgesetz macht. Because it wasn't forcing anybody's conscience at this point, right? An diesem Punkt hat es noch kein Gewissen von jemandem auf, also However, when you make a law that forces your conscience, it's a religious law, right? Wenn aber ein Gesetz macht, was das Gewissen zwingt, dann ist es ein religiöses Gesetz. Because it has no basis on the civil civil matters, right? Es hat keine Basis um, auf zivilen um, Angelegenheiten. Now, why will they do this? Warum werden sie dies tun? Why will they make a Sunday law? Warum werden sie ein Sonntagsgesetz machen? Right, because they understand things literally. Right? Weil sie verstehen Dinge buchstäblich. And therefore, this is what we spoke about the other day. They will make what sort of government? Und deswegen, was, wär, was für eine Art Regierung werden sie machen? A theocracy, eine right? Eine Theokratie. Right, it's the opposite of the democracy, Und right? Das ist das Gegenteil von der Demokratie. Okay, and a theocracy puts both God and... Um, The, the king together, right? Eine Theokratie, die nimmt uh, Gott und den König zusammen. Okay, so the, 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 the religious aspects and the civil aspects meld together as one, right? Die religiösen und die zivilen Aspekte, sie vereinen oder verschmelzen sich zu einem. Okay, and this law was the first step in that direction, right? Und dieses Gesetz war der erste Schritt in diese Richtung. So if history repeats, They have to do the same thing again, right? Wenn sich also die Geschichte wiederholt, dann müssen sie dasselbe wieder tun. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. Gehen wir zum nächsten Absatz. It says, as the papacy became firmly established, the work of Sunday exaltation was continued. For a time, the people engaged in agricultural labor, labor when not attending church, and the seventh day was still regarded as the Sabbath, but steadily a change was effected. Those in holy office were forbidden to pass judgment in any civil controversy on the Sunday. Soon after all persons of whatever rank were commanded to refrain from common labor on pain of a fine for free men and stripes in the case of servants. Later it was decreed that rich men should be punished with the loss of half of their estates and finally that if, they, if still obstinate, They should be made slaves. The lower classes were to suffer perpetual banishment. Okay? So it was leading down to a full-fledged Sunday law, right? Das hat dann um, hingeführt zu einem um, vollständigen Sonntagsgesetz. A religious law. Ein right? religiöses Gesetz. Okay, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. The decrees of councils proving insufficient, the secular authorities were brought to issue an edict that would strike terror to the hearts of the people and force them to refrain from labor on the Sunday. At a synod held in Rome, all previous decisions were reaffirmed with greater force and solemnity. They were also incorporated into the ecclesiastical law and enforced by the civil authorities throughout nearly all Christendom. Okay, so let's go to the next heading, a progressive apostasy. Gehen wir zu der nächsten Überschrift, eine progressive Abfall. Okay, because this law was made by Constantine. Right? Weil dieses Gesetz wurde durch Konstantin gemacht. So let's read about this. Lesen wir darüber. It says, it was Constantine the Great who first made a law for the proper observance of Sunday and who according to Eusebius appointed it uh, should be regularly celebrated throughout the Roman Empire. Before him, And even in his time, they observed the Jewish Sabbath as well as Sunday. 
both to satisfy the law of Moses and to imitate the apostles who used to meet together on the first day. By Constantine's law, promulgated in 321, it was decreed that for the future, the Sunday should be kept as a day of rest in all cities and towns. But he allowed the country people to follow their work. So here was this civil law forbidding people to work on, on Sunday, right? Hier war dieses zivile Gesetz, was Leuten verboten hat, am Sonntag zu arbeiten. And throughout Europe, these laws are there, right? Und durch ganz Europa sind diese Gesetze da. Okay, so, um, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. When the practice of keeping Saturday Sabbath which had become so general at the close of this century, was evidently gaining ground in the Eastern Church. A decree was passed in the council held at Laodicea, AD 364, that members of the church should not rest from work on the Sabbath like Jews, but should labour on that day, and preferring in honour the Lord's day, then if it be in their power, should rest from work as Christians. The seventh day Sabbath was solemnised solemnized by Christ, the apostles and primitive Christians, till the Laodicean council did in a manner quite abolish the observation of it. The council of Laodicea, AD 364, first settled the observation of the Lord's day and prohibited the keeping of the Jewish Sabbath under an anathema. Now, we read the other day about the Blair Bill, right? Und wir haben letztens über diesen Blair Gesetzesentwurf gelesen. And we'll look at this in a moment, right? Wir werden uns das gleich noch mal anschauen. But when E.T. Jones stood up in the Senate to oppose this bill, right? Als E.T. Jones im Senat aufstand, um diesen Gesetzesentwurf entgegenzutreten. Okay, uh, it was um, he his argument was that if they brought this in it was only a mere stepping stone to bring in a religious law because this he was showing that this is what they wanted right sein argument war wenn sie jetzt dieses gesetz an den platz setzen würde dann wäre das nur ein ähm, stein oder ein sprungbrett für äh, das äh, nächste also das religiöse sonntagsgesetz weil das wollten sie eigentlich okay so as soon as the as soon as the government enforces um, even though it's a civil law, it has a religious underlining in it, right? Obwohl es eben ein ziviles Gesetz ist, hat es trotzdem den, einen religiösen Hintergrund, oder? Yeah, the, 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 whole, the whole reason they're doing it is because of religious reasons, right? So, eine religiöse Unterschwelligkeit und der ganze Grund, warum sie das machen, ist eben religiöse Gründe. Okay, it's not a religious law because they're not forcing anybody to uh, keep a religion. Es right. ist nicht ein religiöses Gesetz, weil sie ja niemanden zwingen, eine Religion zu halten. But it is a civil law with religious undertones in it. Right? Aber es ist ein ziviles Gesetz mit religiösen ähm, Untertönen darin. And history shows that it was from this step, that this, the next step was the religious law where they were banning you and, and, and from observing your own religion and you must observe their religion, right? Die Geschichte zeigt, dass das eben dann ähm, dazu geführt hat zu diesem religiösen Gesetz, wo sie ähm, dir dann verboten haben, ähm, deine eigene Religion zu haben. Ähm, ja, und du musst ihre Religion annehmen. Okay, so next heading, copying the past. Nächste Überschrift, die Vergangenheit kopieren. It says, but what is the image to the beast? And how is it to be formed? The image is made by the two-horned beast. Right? So, what's an image? Was ist ein Bild? Yeah. It's a copy. Eine Kopie. Right? You're copying something that someone else has done. Right? Du kopierst etwas, was jemand anderes getan hat. Who are they copying? Wen kopieren sie? The beast. Right? Das Tier. That's why it's called an image to the beast. Right? Wird ein Bild zum Tier genannt. We just read, if you want to understand what's what's going to come in the future, just go back and look at what the beast does. Right? Okay. 
So we know that if you just take history, for instance, here you have the 1260, right? Deadly wound. Tödliche Wunde. Deadly wound. Healed. Tödliche Wunde Why is it healed? Warum ist es geheilt? Because they're, they're now back repeating the same history, right? Okay, so what, what is the image to the beast and how is it to be formed? The image is made by the two-horned beast and is an image to the beast. It is also called an image of the beast. Then to learn what the image is like and how it is to be formed, we must study the characteristics of the beast itself, the papacy. When the early church became corrupted by departing from the simplicity of the gospel and accepting heathen rites and customs, she lost the spirit and power of God. And in order to control the consciences of the people, she sought the support of the secular power. So why do churches go to the secular power? Warum gehen Kirchen zu der säkulären Macht? What does it say? No, no, no. Why do they go there? Because they've lost the spirit. Right? Okay. Because the people no longer want to follow or listen to them. Right? Okay. And when it comes to this point that the people start leaving and, and going off in their own direction because they... There's no spirit in the church anymore, right? Weil wenn es dann zu dem Punkt kommt, dass die äh, Leute jetzt ähm, weggehen und ähm, nicht mehr also in die Kirche gehen, weil die Kirche den Geist verloren hat. Just like in the time of Christ, right? Genauso wie in der Zeit von Christus. The Jews had lost the spirit and power of God. Da hatten die Juden die, den Geist und die Kraft Gottes. Äh, okay, so they turned to the Romans because they had fear that everybody would go after Christ. Also right? verloren dann sind sie eben zu den Römern gegangen, ähm, weil sie, äh, sorry, die Menschen. They went to the Romans, yeah. because they had fear everybody would go after Christ. Ah. Also sie sind zu den Römern gegangen, weil sie Angst hatten, dass jeder Christus nachgehen würde. Okay, so it was the same um, back then in this history of the early Advent movement. Und dasselbe war auch in der Geschichte der frühen Adventbewegung. Okay, so people... Um, the more people were beginning to get agitated about the Sabbath, it was really hacking off these people in their Sunday keeping churches, right? Je mehr Leute aufgewühlt wurden ähm, wegen diesem äh, äh, Halten des Sabbats, desto mehr hat es dann auf die Leute, äh, yeah. also hat es die Leute geärgert, die in den Sonntagsgemeinden waren. So, Sunday keepers who lost the spirit and power begin looking for means to bring the people or keep the people in the church, right? haben dann eben, weil sie den Geist verloren haben, nach Mitteln gesucht, um die Leute in der Gemeinde zu halten. Okay. The result was the papacy, a church that controlled the power of the state and employed it to further her own ends, especially for the punishment of heresy. In order for the United States to form an image of the beast, the religious power must so control the civil government that the authority of the state will also be employed by the church to accomplish her own ends. Whenever the church has obtained secular power, she has employed it to punish dissent from her doctrines. Protestant churches that have followed in the steps of Rome by forming alliance with worldly powers, have manifested a similar desire to restrict liberty of conscience. An example of this is given in the long-continued persecution of dissenters by the Church of England. During the 16th and 17th centuries, thousands of non-conformist ministers were forced to flee from their churches, and many, both of pastors and people, were subject, subjected to fine imprisonments torture and martyrdom, right? So these laws, right, is, is persecution, right? Diese Gesetze sind äh, dann verfolgen. But a law only persecutes you when you disobey it, right? Ein Gesetz verfolgt dich nur, wenn du ihm nicht gehorchst. Okay, so let's look at that, right? Schauen wir uns das an. So let's take the Sunday law, right? Nehmen das Sonntagsgesetz. To make a law here, right? Machen ein Gesetz hier. And when you disobey it, 
Where are you persecuted? Wenn du dem Ungehorsam bist, wo wirst du verfolgt? Here, where the persecution comes, right? Here. So it's marked, right? Wo die Verfolgung kommt, das ist markiert. Okay, we, we, we need to see this, this point, right? Wir müssen diesen Punkt sehen. Okay, so, um, go to the next, um, in fact, just while, while we're on that thought, just go to Revelation 13, excuse me. Während wir auf diesem Gedanken sind, gehen wir zu Offenbarung 13. Because Revelation 13 just confirms this Thought that we're making, right? Offenbarung 13 bestätigt den Punkt, den wir machen. Go to Revelation 13, verse 11. Geht zu Offenbarung 13 und Vers 11. It says, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So here's the, the deception, right? Yes, the deception. Because he says, and he doeth great wonders, so that he bringeth, he, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So first tries to deceive, right? Zuerst versucht er zu verführen. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. What should they make? Das sollten sie tun. Image to the beast. Ein Bild uh, zum Tier. Which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. Now where does it speak? Wo spricht es? No, 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 you're, you're wrong. You're not paying attention when we've been studying this. Where does it speak, Maris? Right, right here. Right? Okay, because it's already brought in the deception and all those that refuse to be deceived, it's now going to bring in the death decree. Right? Es hat schon die Täuschung reingebracht und alle, die nicht getäuscht oder verführt wurden, wird da jetzt ein Todesdekret Now we've covered this many times, right, yeah. showing this progressive, what, from the beginning of the Sunday law, when it speaks like a dragon, to this point here where he speaks, right? Wir haben das oft ähm, behandelt, ähm, von Anfang des Sonntagsgesetzes, also dieses progressive Werk, ähm, bis zu dem Punkt, ähm, wo er dann spricht. Because in verse 15 it says, Vers 15 sagt es, He had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Who's the he here? Wer ist er hier? Yes, the papacy, right? Yes, I mean, it's Satan, but the agent that he uses is when the papacy says, make a death decree and kill them, right? Das ist Satan, aber der Agent, den äh, Satan benutzt, ist eben dann ähm, das Papsttum, wenn sie sagen, mach ein Todesdekret. That the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It's the death decree, right? Das ist das Todesdekret. Okay. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, right? So, it's very important that we see the point where they are going to force you by, by pain, fines, imprisonment and death, right? It's very wichtig, um, diesen Punkt zu sehen, wo sie dich dann zwingen werden, durch um, Schmerzen und durch um, Geldstrafen und Gefängnis und Tod. And it's right here, right? Und das ist hier. And I was reading a, a quote by Sister White this morning on this topic. She says that we must become familiar with those scriptures, right? Und heute Morgen habe ich ein Zitat von Helen White gelesen und da hat sie gesagt, wir müssen mit diesen Schriften vertraut werden. And she was speaking about when they were bringing in this, this uh, civil Sunday law. Und sie hat darüber gesprochen, als sie dieses zivile Sonntagsgesetz reingebracht hat. Our destiny depends upon us understanding those scriptures. Right? Unser Schicksal hängt davon ab, diese Schriften zu verstehen. Because if we don't stand up and give a testimony in that time, we will lose our soul. Weil wenn wir nicht aufstehen und ein Zeugnis in dieser Zeit geben, werden wir unsere Seele verlieren. Okay, so last time doing whatever we have, more time, making sure we understand those things, also right? weniger Zeit damit verbringen, alles andere zu tun und mehr Zeit ähm, verbringen, um sicherzustellen, dass man diese Dinge versteht. Okay, so go, go to this next quote, Great Controversy. Zum nächsten Zitat von Rosenkamp. 
It says the wide diversity of belief in the Protestant churches is regarded by many as decisive proof that no effort to secure a forced uniformity can ever be made. But there has been for years in churches of the Protestant faith a strong and growing sentiment in favour of a union based upon common points of doctrine. To secure such a union, the discussion of subjects upon which all were not agreed, however important they might be from a Bible standpoint, must necessarily be waived. Okay, so I want to ask you, in our modern day, have we seen such a thing take place? Also, ich möchte euch fragen, in unseren modernen äh, Tagen, haben wir so eine Sache stattfinden gesehen? Okay, so where, where have we seen that? Wo haben wir das gesehen? Yeah, that's true in the ecumenical movement, but the ecumenical movement has been around for a long time. That, that's not the, the point where this has taken place. In der ökumenischen Bewegung, aber das ist schon äh, lange Zeit und äh, das ist nicht der Punkt, wo das stattgefunden hat. Come on guys, it was only in the last couple of years. Es war nur in den letzten paar Jahren. When they, when they said that the Reformation no. was finished, right? Sie gesagt haben, die Reformation ist zu Ende. The protest was over, Der protest right? Ist vorbei. Okay. There is no, there is no Catholics and Protestants anymore, according to them, right? Gemäß ihnen äh, gibt's keine Katholiken und Protestanten mehr. They're all one, right? They're all Christians, sie right? Sind alle eins, sie sind alle Christen. This is what this whole point was several years ago, right? Das war der ganze Punkt vor einigen Jahren. And in order for that to happen, this very thing, is the, the, however important they might be from a Bible standpoint, must, necessar must necessarily be waived, and that's what they did, right? Also das haben sie getan. Charles Beecher, in a sermon in the year 1846, declared that the ministry of the evangelical Protestant denominations is not only formed all the way up under a tremendous pressure of merely human fear, but they live and move and breathe in a state of things, uh, radically corrupt and appealing every hour to every baser element of their nature to hush up the truth and bow the knee to the power of apostasy. Was not this the way things went with Rome? Are we not living her life over again? So what was this man noticing? Was hat dieser Mann erkannt? History repeating itself, Dass right? die Geschichte sich wiederholt. And what do we see just ahead? Another general council, a world convention, evangelical alliance and universal creed. Right? So all it's been going on for a long time this, right? Findet schon seit langer Zeit statt. But it was only in the last few years that it was finally they said the protest is over. Right? Ja, das in den letzten paar Jahren, da haben sie... Ähm, Sind es sechs Jahre? Sechs Jahre sogar. Hm? Okay. Also es war sechs Jahre ähm, zuvor, also 2017, da haben sie gesagt, der Protest ist jetzt vorbei. Okay. Um, Sermon on the Bible, a sufficient creed, delivered at Fort Wayne, Indiana, February 22, 1846. When this shall be gained, then in the effort to secure complete uniformity, it will be only a step to the resort of force. So when they came together now, it was the first step. What would be the next step? Als sie zusammenkamen, war das der erste Schritt. Was würde der nächste Schritt sein? Yeah, the resort to force, right? Dass sie dann das Mittel der, des Zwangs ähm, ergreifen. Okay. It says, when the leading churches of the United States, uniting upon such points of doctrine, as are held by them in common, shall influence the state to enforce their decrees and to sustain their institutions, then Protestant America will have formed an image of the Roman hierarchy and the infliction of civil penalties upon dissenters will inevitably result. Okay. Now, go to the next heading, right? It's the next in Now, several years back when we, we, we understood these two Sunday laws, Right. Okay, now, 
just for purposes say we we are in a type of the Sunday law, right? We are in the Galatians uh, 4 experience. And we are somewhere underneath this horn here right now, right? Okay, so we understood that before the Sunday law come, the the, the civil Sunday law had to come because it showed it in history, right? We have verstanden that before the Sonntagsgesetz kommt, da muss eben das zivile Sonntagsgesetz okay. kommen, weil das stand in der Geschichte. Can't remember all the arguments back then, but we stuck it at the end here, right? Ich kann mich nicht mehr an alle Argumente erinnern, aber wir haben das hier ans Ende geschrieben. Okay, and for I don't know how many years ago that was, some three, five years ago, it's been sitting there ever since, and we've never, we've never discussed it, we've never did anything else with it, right? Und vor fünf Jahren oder so da. Oder seit fünf Jahren steht das darum und wir haben es also nicht mehr behandelt, auch nicht mehr darüber gesprochen. Because we still have this literal mindset that must go in order, must come this, then the very next step, so the, the very next step was here, right? Wir hatten noch dieses buchstäbliche Gedankengut, dass wir gedacht haben, das muss alles nacheinander kommen. Also zuerst dieser Schritt und der nächste Schritt ist dann das hier. Okay, we still had this literal mindset, right? Wir hatten immer noch dieses buchstäbliche Gedankengut. But now we understand this time of peace, right? Aber jetzt verstehen wir die Zeit des Friedens. Okay, so just go to Daniel 6, for instance, right? Und deswegen geht jetzt zum Beispiel zu Daniel 6. Vers 3. Vers 3. It says, Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him. What was in him? Was war in ihm? An excellent spirit, the Holy Spirit, right? Ein vortrefflicher Geist, also der Heilige Geist. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm, right? König dachte, ihn über das ganze Reich zu setzen. So right here at this point, God's people are set up over the whole realm, right? Also an diesem Punkt wird Gottes Volk über das ganze Reich gesetzt. Okay, typifying, right? Because if we just go to go to Daniel seven. Geht zu Daniel sieben. Das schattet nämlich was voraus. And go to verse 26. Geht zu Vers 26. It says, but the judgment shall sit. And this is the judgment at the end. This one here right here. Right? Das ist Gericht hier am Ende. It says, the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion, and consume and destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom, and dominion, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Right? So it's typifying the second coming of Christ, right? Christ comes here as the latter rain. That's why Joseph is filled with, or, sorry, in this case, Daniel is filled with this spirit, right? He's set up over all the nations, right? Gesetzt. He's the head and not the tail. Er ist das Haupt und nicht der Schwanz. And it's this seven years of plenty, das right? Sind die sieben Jahre der Fülle. You just go to Genesis 41. Und geht zu 1. Mose 41. Vers 40. Vers 40. It says, Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy words shall my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And verse 44. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Right? So nobody's doing anything over and above God's people at this point, right? So, niemand tut etwas über uh, Gottes Volk an diesem Punkt. Go to Revelation verse 20. 
Geht's auf Morgen 20? Und Vers 1. Und Vers 1. It says, and I, I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Where is he bound? Was he bound? In type. In typos. Come on, guys. Where is he bound on here in the board? Up the top, where is he bound? Right here, right? Here. He's bound for this time, right? That angel coming down is a parallel to the angel of Revelation 18, right? When they get judged, right? Okay, and he's bound for a thousand years, right? Verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. So what can he not do in this time period? Das kann er in dieser Zeitspanne also nicht tun. Can't deceive you, right? Kann ich nicht verführen. Okay, so he's bound in this time period, Diese right? Zeit wird er gebunden. He's not making any civil Sunday laws in this time period. Er macht keine zivilen Sonntagsgesetze in dieser Zeitspanne. Okay, right? And if you just go to Revelation 17, verse 8, Wenn jetzt auf 17, Vers 8 geht, it says, The beast that thou sawest was here, right? Es war hier. Is not and shall ascend es ist nicht und wird aufkommen. out of the bottomless pit. Aus dem bodenlosen Abgrund. Gets thrown in the bottomless pit here and he comes out of the bottomless pit here, right? Hier wird er in den bodenlosen Abgrund geworfen und hier kommt er aus dem bodenlosen Abgrund heraus. So what's he not doing between here and here? Was macht er also nicht zwischen hier he's und hier? He's not deceiving, he's not persecuting, he's not making any Sunday laws, er right? Er verführt nicht, er ähm, verfolgt nicht und macht auch keine Sonntagsgesetze. Right? Richtig. Okay. So, um, and therefore, my conclusion is that the Sunday, the, the civil Sunday law is typifying the death decree. Und deswegen mein, um, meine Schlussfolgerung ist, dass das zivile Sonntagsgesetz das Todesdekret And you'll see why in a moment, right? Ihr werdet gleich sehen, weshalb Now, das ist. we're in this movement here, right? Wir sind hier in dieser Bewegung. If it was typifying the Sunday law in 2014, it would have already been in place, right? So das Sonntagsgesetz vorausgeschattet äh, hätte, dann wäre das Sonntagsgesetz schon an Platz gewesen. Right. And we are somewhere down here and there's been no civil Sunday law, right? Wir sind hier irgendwo und es gab noch kein ziviles Sonntagsgesetz. And you will see that under the civil Sunday law people were persecuted, right? Und sehen, unter dem zivilen Sonntagsgesetz wurden Leute verfolgt. The pattern shows that the persecution comes here, das right? Das zeigt, dass die Verfolgung hier kommt. By the north. Durch den Norden. Now we know that this one is going to persecute, right? Wir wissen, dass das hier verfolgen wird. But it's nothing to do with this. Aber das hat nichts damit zu tun. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment, right? Wir werden darüber gleich noch sprechen. Okay, go, go to the next heading, 1888, Sunday, a day of rest. Geht zur nächsten Überschrift, 1888, Sonntag, ein Tag der Ruhe. It says, in the movements now in progress, in the United States to secure for the institutions and usages of the church the support of the state, Protestants are following in the steps of papists. Nay more, they are opening the door for the papacy to regain in Protestant America the supremacy which she has lost in the old world. And that which gives greater significance to this movement is the fact that the principal object contemplated is the enforcement of Sunday observance, a custom which originated with Rome and which she claims as the sign of her authority. It is the spirit of the papacy, the spirit of conformity to worldly customs, the veneration for human traditions above the commandments of God that is permeating the Protestant churches 
and leading them on to do the same work of Sunday exaltation which the papacy has done before them. So she says, in the movements now in progress, speaking about the 1888 movement in her time. Right? Sie sagt, dass diese Bewegungen, die jetzt ähm, also progressiv waren, da sprach sie über diese 1888er Bewegung in ihrer Zeit. This These, um, the reform movement that was pushing forward its agendas, right? Okay, so let's talk about, this is this next um, quote, it's from the 1888 time period. This peril now threatens the people of God, and what are we going to do? Can we not assist in lifting the standard and in calling to the front those who have a regard for their religious rights and privileges? God calls upon us to awake. We know the end is near. What's she saying to do? Was sagt sie, was soll man tun? Okay, just go to Joel chapter 1. Gehen wir zu Joel 1. And verse 5. Vers 5. It says, Awake ye drunkards, and weep and howl, or ye drinkers of wine, because the new wine for it is cut off from your mouth. Where do we place that? Where is Joel on our line telling them to wake up? Wo sagt Joel ihnen auf der Linie, dass sie aufwachen sollen? Right, where the death decree is, right? Wo das right? ist. Okay, he's making this point, right? Wake up. Mach den Punkt, wacht auf. Okay, so go back to the quote. Geht zum Zitat zurück. God calls upon us to awake. We know the end is near. How do they know the end is near? Wie wissen sie, dass das Ende nahe ist? Because of the sign, right? Wie nimmt Zeichen. We know that the prophecies are fast fulfilling, which show that we are living in the close of this world's history. Speaking about Matthew 24, right? Spricht über Matthäus 24. John was shown the last work for this time. Where was John given the revelation? Wo wurde Johannes die Offenbarung gegeben? Here, right? Hier drin. Okay. John was shown the last work for this time, and he saw a people of whom he says, Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. John tells us what was open to him in that vision. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark and his testament. This vision represents a people whose attention was called to the sanctuary in heaven. There John saw the ark of God, containing the tables of stone, whereon was engraven the law of God. Now in the, in the seventh plague right here, what happens? Was geschieht hier in der siebten Plage? Yeah, the clouds part and these two tables are brought forth, right? Die Wolken teilen sich und diese zwei Steintafeln werden hervorgeholt. There John saw the ark of God containing the tables of stone where, where, where was engraven the law of God. And this people have been seeking to be in harmony with heaven by keeping all God's commandments. There has been great opposition because they have respected the Sabbath of the fourth commandment, which is by the secular and religious world has been ignored. And it's all speaking about this civil Sunday law that they went to put in place, or, or they did put in place in Certain states in the United States. Und das spricht alles über das zivile Sonntagsgesetz, was sie in einigen ähm, Staaten von USA schon eingesetzt hatten. Okay, next part, next quote. Nächstes Zitat. Next paragraph, excuse me. Oder nächster Absatz. Yes. We see that efforts are being made to restrict our religious liberties. The Sunday question is now assuming large proportions. An amendment to our constitution is being urged in Congress. And when it is obtained, oppression must follow. I want to ask, are you awake to this matter? And do you realize that the night cometh where no man can work? Have you had that intensity of zeal and that piety and devotion which will enable you to stand when oppression is brought upon you. So 
When are we when is that going to happen in the Sunday law? Wann wird das im Sonntagsgesetz stattfinden? So when you've refused to bow down and you're brought before the king, right? Wenn du dich weigerst, dich niederzubeugen und vor den König gebracht wirst. Okay. It does not seem possible to us now that any should have to stand alone. But if God has ever spoken by me, the time will come when we shall be brought before councils and before thousands for his name's sake, and each one will have to give a reason for his faith. Right? So she's talking about this law that they're trying to push through, and she's telling you what will happen when it's put through, right? Sie spricht also über das Gesetz, was ähm, ja, aufgedrückt werden soll und sie sagt, was dann geschehen wird. Okay, she's quoting Matthew 24, right? Und sie zitiert Matthäus 24. Then will come the severest criticism upon every position that has been taken for the truth. We need then to study the word of God that we may know why we believe the doctrines we advocate. What must we do? Was müssen wir tun? Because you're going to stand there with all your brethren, right? And if you don't know the answer, you can just turn to one of them and say, where was that again? Right? No, we, we have to know these things for ourselves, right? Okay. So, next uh, quote. Next citat. If the leading men in our conferences do not now accept the message sent them by God and fall into line for action, the churches will suffer great loss. When the watchman, seeing the sword coming, gives the trumpet a certain sound, the people along the line will echo the warning. Now, what's she taking? Was nimmt sie jetzt? Yeah, the, the, the blowing the trumpet, right? Okay, so we've got to blow the trumpet, right? Okay, it says, um, But too often the leader has stood hesitating, seeming to say, Let us not be in too great haste. There may be a mistake. We must be careful not to raise a false alarm. And you can be sure when this fear comes upon us, people will take this approach, right? Ihr könnt sicher sein, wenn diese Für äh, Furcht über uns kommt, dann werden Leute diese, äh, das annehmen. It's natural, right? Also, das ist ja natürlich. But we are not to move by feeling, we are to move by faith, Wir right? Wir sollen aber nicht uns äh, durch Gefühl bewegen lassen, sondern durch Glauben. Evidences, right? Beweise. Evidences that the Lord has been laying out for us for the past seven years. Beweise, die der Herr uns für die letzten sieben Jahre ausgelegt hat. In the very preparation for this test, right? Für genau die, diese Vorbereitung für diesen Test. Okay. Um, um, the very um, hesitancy and uncertainty on his part is crying peace and safety. Do not get excited. Be not alarmed. There is a great deal more made of this religious amendment question than is demanded. The agitation will all die down. Thus he virtually denies the message sent from God. And the warning which was designed to stir the churches fails to do its work. What's the trumpet to do? It says the trumpet of the watchman gives no certain sound and the people do not prepare for the battle. Right? She's taking that and sticking it right there, right? Also, sie nimmt das und sie setzt es genau dahin. Let the watchman beware, lest through his hesitancy and delay souls shall be left to perish and their blood shall be required at his hand. We have been looking many years for a Sunday law to be enacted in our land and now that the movement is right upon us, we ask, Will our people do their duty in the matter? Can we not assist in lifting the standard and in calling to the front those who have a regard for their religious rights and privileges? The time is fast approaching when those who choose to obey God 
rather than man, will be made to feel the hand of oppression. Shall we then dishonour God by keeping silent while his holy commandments are trodden underfoot? While the Protestant world is by her attitude making concessions to Rome, let us arouse to comprehend the situation and view the contest before us in its true bearings. Let the watchmen now lift up their voice and give the message which is present truth for this time. What is it? Was ist das? Present truth. Gegenwärtige Wahrheit. Blow the trumpet. Blas die Posaune. Show my people their sins, right? Zeig mein Volk ihre Sünden. Let us show the people where we are in prophetic history and seek to arouse the spirit of true Protestantism, awaking the world to a sense of the value of the privileges of religious liberty so long enjoyed. And brothers and sisters, if you don't see what I see, it's showing us that Sunday law is not far away, right? Geschwister, wenn ihr nicht seht, was ich sehe, das zeigt uns, das Sonntagsgesetz ist nicht weit weg. And it shows us that the end of the world is not far away, right? Zeigt uns, dass das Ende der Welt nicht weit weg ist. For years, for years he's been painstakingly bringing us through all these things. Seit right? Jahren hat er uns ähm, mühevoll durch all diese Dinge gebracht. And this movement needs to come to an end, diese right? Diese Bewegung muss zu einem Ende kommen. And I put it to you that this is going to bring the conclusion upon this movement. Und ähm, ich äh, möchte eben sagen, dass äh, das diesen Abschluss der Bewegung dann herbeiführen wird. Next heading. Nächste Überschrift. Time of persecution. Zeit der Verfolgung. If the decision is made that our people shall not labor on Sunday and that our brethren in the southern states at the time this manuscript was written, Seventh-day Adventists in some of the southern states were being persecuted because of violation of state Sunday laws. Some of these Adventists refusing to pay fines imposed were put in chain gangs. So where were they put? Wo wurden sie in prison. Also ins Gefängnis. Okay. Where does... You, you get put in prison here? Wirst du hier ins Gefängnis geworfen? No, it's here. Nein, es ist hier. Right? In the prophetic narrative. In der right? prophetischen Erzählung. Um, <coughs> So it says, shall appear to harmonize with the Sunday law because of oppression. How long before all over the world our people shall be in like circumstances as they are in the South? The decision is to be a universal one. If it comes to the light of day, as it will in degrees, and there will be concessions and servile bowing to an idol, God, by those who claim to be Sabbath keepers, there will be a yielding of principles until all is lost to them. If we counsel them not to respect the idle Sabbath, exalted to take the place of the Sabbath of the Lord our God, then instruct them in this matter in a quiet way and encourage no defying of the law powers in words or actions. So you're not to defy the civil Sunday law. Right? Also du sollst das zivile Sonntagsgesetz you have to cease from work on that day. nicht ähm, trotzen oder widersetzen. Also du sollst an diesem Tag von der Arbeit aufhören. But you have to lift up your voice like a trumpet, warning the people, right, about this. You need to wake up, right? Also du musst deine Stimme wie eine Posaune erheben und die Leute warnen, dass dies eben kommt, dass sie aufwachen müssen. We must show them where we are in the prophetic narrative. Wir müssen right? ihnen zeigen, wo wir in der prophetischen Erzählung sind. It says, let there be no unnecessary act of arousing the combative spirit or passions of opponents. Right? We are to be wise as, wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Right? Okay, let's look at our work. Right? It says, dear brother. I will try to answer your question as to what you should do in the case of Sunday laws being enforced. The light given me by the Lord at a time when we are expecting just such a crisis as you seem, as you seem to be approaching was that when the people were moved by a power from beneath to enforce Sunday law or Sunday observance, Seventh-day Adventists were to show their wisdom by refraining from their ordinary work on that day devoting it to missionary effort. To defy the Sunday laws will but strengthen in their persecution the religious zealots who are seeking to enforce them. 
Now just, I remember nearly seven years ago when we first came here. Ich kann mich erinnern, vor ungefähr sieben Jahren, als wir zum ersten Mal hierher kamen. And it was a holiday, I think it was. Und es war ein Feiertag. And I went out there and used a drill, an electric drill. Und da bin ich gegangen und hab äh, die Drill. Die Bohrmaschine. Ah, eine, eine Bohrmaschine benutzt. Right, and one of the neighbors came across and rebuked me, told me it was a rest day, you can't do none of that. Und einer der Nachbarn ist dann gekommen, hat mich getadelt, hat gesagt, das ist ein Ruhetag, du kannst okay. das nicht tun. And that spirit is in every one of their hearts, right? Und dieser Geist ist in einem jeden von ihren Herzen. Okay, and at the right time they will manifest this spirit. Und zur rechten Zeit werden sie diesen Geist manifestieren. It says, um, Give them no occasion to call you lawbreakers. If they are left to reign up men who fear neither God nor man, the reigning up will soon lose its novelty for them, and they will see that it is not consistent nor convenient for them to be strict in regard to the observance of Sunday. Keep right on with your missionary work, with your Bibles in your hands, and the enemy will see that he has worsened, worsted his own cause. One does not receive the mark of the beast because he shows that he realizes the wisdom of keeping the peace by refraining from work that gives offense, doing at the same time a work of the highest importance. When we devote Sunday to missionary work, the whip will be taken out of the hands of the arbitrary zealots who would be well pleased to humiliate Seventh-day Adventists. When they see that we employ ourselves on Sunday in visiting the people and opening the scriptures to them, they will know that it is useless for them to try and hinder our work by making Sunday laws. Sunday can be used for carrying forward various lines of work that will accomplish much for the Lord. On this day, open-air meetings and cottage meetings can be held. House-to-house -house work can be done. Those who write can devote this day to writing their articles. Whenever it is possible, let religious services be held on Sunday. Make these meetings intensely interesting. Sing genuine revival hymns and speak with power and assurance of the Saviour's love. Speak on temperance and on true religious experience. You will thus learn much about how to work and will reach many souls. Let the teachers in our schools devote Sunday to missionary effort. Amen? Amen. Okay, last quote. Let's us sit out. At one time, those in charge of our school at Avondale inquired of me, saying, What shall we do? The officers of the law have been commissioned to arrest those working on Sunday. Right? So it's, it's, a, it's when they will really enforce it upon you. Right? Okay, and it says, I replied, it will be very easy to avoid that difficulty. Give Sunday to the Lord as a day for doing missionary work, etc., etc. Right? So, right. so, we take this, our line, right? Wir unsere Linie nehmen. This is just a type. Was ein Typus ist. 2014. 2014. Down to the judgment. Bis zum Gericht. Where the kingdom will be given to this movement, right? Königreich dieser Bewegung gegeben wird. Those that are faithful, that are left, right? die übrig sind und treu waren. God will have a people, right? Gott wird ein Volk haben. They will enter into this peace, right? Sie werden in diesen Frieden eintreten. Okay, but if this, the Sunday law is coming here, right? Wenn das Sonntagsgesetz hier kommt, it has to come before that, right? dann muss das zuvor kommen. And if it's not coming in here, it has to come in here. Und wenn es nicht hier kommt, dann muss es hier drin kommen. And Sister White is clearly marking it in this point, right? Und White markiert das ganz klar an diesem Punkt. So, we need to wake up right here, right? Wir müssen hier aufwachen. We've been looking, the Lord's been unfolding to us this complicated play of human events, right? Der Herr hat uns dieses komplizierte Zusammenspiel menschlicher Ereignisse ähm, entfaltet. And he began with the Ukraine war, right? Und er hat mit dem Ukraine-Krieg angefangen. The Ukraine war, we had to figure it out prophetically, who, who is what and who's acting out which part, right? Und beim Ukraine-Krieg mussten wir das herausfinden, wer jetzt welchen Teil spielt und wer welche Rolle ist. Why have we got this war between Trump and and Biden going on at the same time you've got this 
War in Ukraine, right? Warum findet dieser Krieg zwischen Trump und Biden zur selben Zeit statt wie der Ukraine-Krieg? Okay. And just recently we come to realize that this is where this movement will this little portion of the movement will be complete right here, right? Ja, vor kurzem sind wir, haben wir dann realisiert, dass es dann hier ist, wenn dieser kleine Teil der Bewegung abgeschlossen sein wird. And what's going to test was in that? Was wird uns hier prüfen? This, right? Das hier. The opposite from this. Das Gegenteil von dem hier. Right? Okay, and, and the, the, the means that they use is this snake bite test, right? Das Mittel, was sie benutzen, ist dieser Schlangenbiss test. Okay, but those that go through faithfully through that will be raised up here to give the trumpet here, right? Aber diejenigen, die hier treu durchgehen, die werden dann aufgerichtet, um hier den Posaunenschall zu geben. So what is it that you're going to blow the trumpet on here? Also über was musst du hier die Posaune blasen? Because the 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 I mean you you have Cestius haste away, right? Yeah, fleet Cestius back. But what happens here? Was geschieht aber hier? Titus comes, right? Titus kommt. Okay, surrounds Jerusalem. Umlagert Jerusalem. But, but that has been illustrated in a country that's many hundreds of kilometers away from here, right? Das wird in einem Land dargestellt, was mehrere hundert Kilometer von uns weg ist. It's been done by a group of people that are playing a role that they themselves know not what they're doing, right? Und das wird von einer Gruppe von Leuten gespielt, also diese Rolle, wovon sie selbst gar nichts wissen. So we've often asked the question, how will we be individually tested by that. Wir haben oft die Frage gestellt, wie werden wir individuell damit geprüft werden? Here's the answer. Hier ist die Antwort. Right? That's how we're individually tested here and that's how we're individually tested here. Um, hier ist es so, um, das ist es, was uns individuell testet und das ist es, was uns individuell testen wird. See it? Könnt ihr das sehen? Right? If it's not here, where is it? Wenn es nicht hier ist, wo ist es? Because the next thing that comes after this is the Sunday law itself, right? Das nächste, was danach kommt, ist das Sonntagsgesetz selbst. Okay. Before us are two tests, right? Vor uns sind zwei Tests. Right. One from the south, one from the north. Der eine vom Süden, der andere vom Norden. So by the time, if you're faithful, you get through this, you you will have experienced. Persecution from both sides of the field, right? Also, wenn du dann treu bist und durch das alles gegangen bist, hast du dann ähm, eine Verfolgung erlebt von beiden Seiten. Yes, but remember, when 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 Christ was about to go through his test, who got sent to him? Und denk daran, als Christus kurz davor war, durch seinen Test zu gehen, wer wurde zu ihm gesandt? Elijah and Moses. Elijah and Moses. Right? Why? Because they had gone through it, they, 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 they were able to comfort him because they had gone through that experience, right? Sie waren in der Lage, ihn zu trösten, weil sie durch dieselbe Erfahrung gegangen sind. Okay, and the Lord is raising up a people that will arouse the church, right? Der Herr richtet ein Volk auf, was die Gemeinde aufrütteln wird. They can point back and say, you see that? That's going to repeat right here. Die zurückweisen können und sagen können, seht ihr das? Das wird sich hier wiederholen. They'll be able to take, you'll be able to take the people step by step down through what's ahead of them, right? Wir dann die Leute Schritt für Schritt durch das führen können, was vor ihnen steht. Okay. So, this is a serious thought, right? Das ist ein ernsthafter Gedanke. I'm open to be corrected. Ich bin offen, korrigiert zu werden. <laughs> but, but, where? Aber wo? Okay, you have to show me that. Ihr müsst right? mir das zeigen. Okay, so suddenly aroused my heart to the seriousness of what's in front of us. Es right? hat plötzlich mein Herz aufgeweckt um, wegen der Ernsthaftigkeit, was vor uns liegt. This is one thing, right? Das ist eine Sache. But this is a whole other thing, Aber right? Das ist was ganz anderes. You won't even believe the persecution that will come because of this. Kannst dir nicht vorstellen, die Verfolgung, die kommen wird, deswegen. 
because history is going to repeat itself. Weil die Geschichte sich wiederholen wird. And it's not an accident that in the time of Joseph you have prison and then here you have prison, right? Das ist kein Zufall, dass in der Zeit von Joseph hat man das Gefängnis und hier auch wieder das Gefängnis. Two tests. Diese zwei Tests. The thing is, what waits us all? Do we believe God's word? Right? Die Sache ist, glauben wir Gottes Wort? Uh, have we been following step by step down through all the proofs to put these things in place? Haben wir Schritt für Schritt all diesen uh, Beweisen gefolgt, um diese Sachen an Platz zu setzen? Do we have our own faith? Haben wir unseren eigenen Glauben? Or are we riding on the faith of our brethren? Oder reiten wir auf dem Glauben unserer Geschwister? And these are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Das right? sind die Fragen, die wir uns stellen müssen. Because soon. We will soon we will find out when it comes to this point. Right? Weil das werden wir bald herausfinden, wenn es zu diesem Punkt kommt. Okay, let's close with our final hymn. Lass uns mit unserem letzten Lied schließen. Das ist Nummer 441. I saw one beauty. So unweary, sad and tall, with eager steps press on the way, who long the hallowed cross and bore, still looking for the promised thing. While many a line of grief and care upon his brow was followed there, I asked. Lord, um, for years we've known that these things would come. 
ja, seit Jahren wussten wir, dass diese Dinge kommen werden. But the reality is somewhat different. Aber die Realität ist irgendwie anders. We don't realize the evils that are lurking in our own hearts. Wir realisieren nicht das Böse, was in unseren eigenen Herzen schlummert. And we certainly don't understand, like Peter, that how easy we would reject you. Und wir verstehen sicherlich nicht, so wie Petrus, wie einfach wir dich verwerfen würden. Help us, Lord, to realize our need. Hilf uns, Herr, dass wir unsere Bedürfnisse erkennen. And help us not to sit satisfied, saying, "Oh, all these people might reject you, but not I." Und hilf uns, dass wir nicht zufrieden da sitzen und sagen, ja, all diese Leute werden können mich verwerfen, aber ich werde es nicht. But Lord, we know through the scriptures that if we think like that, we surely are going to reject you. Weil wir wissen, Herr, durch die Schriften, dass wenn wir so denken, dann werden wir dich sicherlich verwerfen. May these things arouse fear in our heart. Mögen diese Dinge Furcht in unser Herz aufkommen may they, lassen. May they drive us closer to you. Mögen sie uns näher zu dir ähm, führen. May they help us to feel our need. Mögen sie uns unsere Not verspüren lassen. And may we really understand our need to study out all the points of our doctrine. Und mögest du uns wirklich unsere Not zeigen, dass wir all diese Punkte unserer Lehre ausstudieren. That when Satan comes with his deceptions, we would not be easily moved. Damit, wenn Satan mit seinen Täuschungen kommt, wir nicht einfach bewegt werden können. And please help us to dwell upon these things. Und bitte hilf uns, über diese Dinge nachzudenken. And we ask this in the name of Jesus. Und wir bitten das im Namen Jesu. Amen. Amen.